getting into FPV and looking for some uh, head mounting displays and all I can see is you see that that shark and a various a few others and all they do is basically uh, take a HDMI cable and link to these goggles and you get display which is no better than the cheap glasses that I have. I looked at my uh, earlier projects which was this system. It's basically a video display that I made from an old pair of glasses. Like 3D from the cinema and displays here with a mirror bouncing off a magnifying lens. This is an Olympus glasses and a video driver board and display here about a one centimeter screen which is magnified out this mirrored prison here. Um, the lead tethered to the power supply and video digital to analog converter because this display is an analog um, system. So HDMI goes to this converter and it will go out to um, the glasses itself. Um, my second prototype was this from an even pair, cheaper pair of uh, video glasses. You see that? All it is is uh, an LCD display and a magnifying glass at the front. See that? And the ribbon, which was much more longer this ribbon cable that comes out to the um, driver board. There's also some controls on the other sides which was much better. It was um, brightness control and contrast and it seemed more robust. Um, the driver which is this large battery, USB battery, uh, the digital to analog converter for the HDMI connections. These two glasses are great for looking at what the camera sees on my drone and has the added bonus of looking straight ahead so that I get a line of sight. But as a videographer, I need something substantially more than this. Here's one of the things that I like to do at the beach, just to film these kite surfers. As you can see, I have to be at a certain distance because anywhere closer, and I'll have to work hard as a cameraman trying to get these people in shot. As you can see, I lose most of the details when I'm filming, but I get an overall sense of speed regardless of that. Looking into the solutions of camera tracking for my drone, I found one is to use a specialized piece of equipment. The Avent Glyph is a one-stop solution. It has headphones and video monitors all in one and it can play any other HDMI sources as well as head tracking. There is an alternative is to use some software, tracking software, and use your mobile phone phone in conjunction with an app called Leechy, or in this case because I'm using an autopilot and it doesn't have a, tr a tracking app, I'm using 3D FPV. Basically it's the same stick your phone in here, your two magnifying glasses will give you um, individualized left and right screens and the accelerometers in the phone will give you tracking information 
to move your camera left, right, up and down. This is then connected to the art radio control system and plug conveniently into the phone itself. Normally I would start with the DJI GO app and get the focus and the camera sorted. Then I would go into the FPV app and you'll get the screen. Click OK and you'll get a double screen for the left and right eye. Normally to control the parameters of, the, of this you have the C1 and C2 buttons for this particular app and if you press them both together you'll get the parameters. Pressing down you'll scroll down. In this case I want to have the gimbal head tracking. As you can see once I turn the iPhone round the head tracking system starts working. But subsequently if you go up and face down the camera goes up and down as well. Now you have the screen recorder and other things such as highlighting the home point. There's a second mode for head tracking actually, which seems quite important. Basically it's, it's tracking without the left and right pitch tracking. As you can see, turning down, pitching up, pitching down, which is quite convenient as sometimes you don't want to move your your head left and right all you want to do is to look, look down and look up. The Avonglyph is a dedicated video head system with head tracking and it costs seven to eight hundred dollars. The alternative is actually this VR headset with your phone and some piece of clever software software is about £15 and this plastic headset is around about £15 as well so you're in for about £30 and all in all I think I'll be choosing this system over the Avent Glyph. See you next time.